This video is going to cover the install and configuration of Ultimaker Cura for use on the Anycubic i3 and the Anycubic Chiron 3D printers. So the first step is we're going to go and uh, type Ultimaker Cura into our web browser. U-L-T-I-M-A-K-E-R space C-U-R-A and click enter. And now we are going to browse to the latest version of Ultimaker Cura, which today is 4.91, but this is updated and changes quite regularly. And we're gonna click download for free and select Windows. Those of you with a Mac uh, device can also choose uh, the Mac version. And we're gonna wait for that to download. And once it does, we can click open. And that won't take a minute. We're gonna click yes. Uh, and we're gonna click no. If you've already got the old version, you can keep it. There's no issue with that. We'll click next and install. And again, this is a fairly fast process. The entire install shouldn't take you more than a couple of minutes. But of course it does depend on you having fast internet uh, download speed to begin with and click finish. And of course that box which says run Ultimaker Cura 4.91 was already ticked, which means it will open up for us as soon as it finishes the install. And now once it opens, we'll be able to add the two types of 3D printers that we have. So we can go skip and close. And so to begin with, the default is some custom printer. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click add printer. We're gonna click add a non networked printer. So obviously the Ultimaker one's at the top because this software is actually uh, made and supported by a, a 3D printer manufacturer, um, but it's open source and you, you can create your own profiles for use on 3D printers. So the two 3D printers we predominantly use uh, here in the department are the Anycubic Chiron and the Anycubic i3 Mega. And we have quite a few of the i3 Mega um, and other departments like robotics, iSteam and IST also use these two printers here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the Anycubic i3 Mega and we'll click Add. And so essentially now it has loaded all of the presets for this 3D printer as someone has already created. Um, so we'll have our, and if we click Settings, uh, Printer, Printer Settings, Uh, we can actually see what these are. So you can see that the bed is set as a maximum of 210 millimeters for the X and the Y, and the, the Z height is set at a maximum. Uh, and also we'll have a lot of information related to the nozzle and the filament diameter side, things like that, as well as some start and end G code, which is important. So there you have it. Uh, now in the next video, I will cover importing an STL file uh, from a program like Fusion 360 into Ultimaker Cura and then creating the G-code for it.